Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. We are in exactly the same position we were in before. Uh, other than I have changed uh, the spell load up slightly. Spell loadout slightly so that we have the carrion greatsword. Mostly because we're going to get an invasion and most of these spells aren't going to land and I don't have the dodge on my melee weapon to deal with it right now. So, we are going to head south down to about here-ish. Um, there should be like a shack in, in and around where the kind of picture of this tree is. Um... And then we'll come back up for the Everjail. I feel like it's better to go and get the shack done. Because then we can have a, gra a grace to rest at. And then we will be able to uh, come back up for the Everjail. So we'll do it that way around. Uh, in addition to that, you could also then go ahead and... Well, we should be able to go ahead and go down to the south where there's a tower. Um, as well as an Earth Tree Boss, as you can probably see. So we're going to go ahead and deal with that. Which gives an extra memory slot by the end of this episode. Oh, at least we got the Shrine America here, so probably not too dangerous to, to face off against the Cuckoo. Cuckoo, I think it is. It's like, it's basically a giant with magic. Um, we've already fought the uh, the spirit one, so it's not going to be much different to that fight, realistically. So we're going to go this way. You're going to see there's loads of like, loot on the floor. Where this guy's been doing quite a bit of invading. He should invade. Just go ahead and get all this. Go to Sight Grace now if you want. At least they can fast travel here. Nope. 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 <laughs> Carrying great sword. If it staggers them, and you can keep doing that, uh, you can get some pretty good results out of it. Shibiri Grape 3. Some might say. Which means we have all but one item now for Grape Lady's questline, which is good. We need the... Fingerprint eyeball, I believe it's called. <laughs> Don't ask me why it's called that, but it is. It's an eyeball with a fingerprint on it, and she has got a taste for that stuff. So, we're going up to the Evergel with the cuckoo in it now. We should probably spend those points, actually. And do I have enough? Do I have enough? I do not. <clears throat> still, I'm still holding on to those, to those runes in the inventory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm refusing to use any. Even if I want spells and stuff, I'm going to farm stuff. I am going to spend them at the end. On this character. Over for the ever gel. Hopefully I'm right about this guy and uh, I'm okay fighting. Uh, the... The Glint Blade thing? Staggers him, I think, in like three rounds. So that's also a thing we can do. I wonder if we can like do this, right? Can we do this and then do this? What? Why did you do that? Yeah, he's got his own version. Just be careful. That's what he's going to drop. Actually, by the way, we'll get the bigger versions. I don't know uh, how they compare. I haven't tested them against each other yet. Excuse me, sir. Would you take a stagger for me? Would you please? That's an increase to his damage, by the way. That means he's uh, gearing up to one-shot you. Just bear that in mind. It's probably worthless, because my da my weapon damage is terrible. Should have just fired a spell off. You know what I should have done? Is use my Physic. It's probably a bit late now. Oh, he's banged into his own wall. Well, that was a bad idea, wasn't it, sir? Right, now we're going to do some extra damage. Here we go. Doesn't really seem to make much difference. Have I mixed my physic? I don't know if I have. Quick! Oh my god! We're gonna roll into this. Oh no! I thought I was gonna do the run up then. When you just like the run up, you have to roll into it. You have to roll at him. I'm not far off from the uh, from the stagger point now. I'm just going to continue blasting you. I'm sorry, buddy. But uh, that's better for me than actually getting a critical. Just to get two free casts, that's way better. Balls going out. Ooh, thank you very much, sir. We'll take that. Great Phalanx Blade for the win.
Okay, hopefully everything is playing okay. May have spotted what caught my mind caused the problem. Uh, so. It is time. I'm a little worried now. I uh, saw something worrying flash up on OBS. Hopefully this uh, this episode stays whole. Because we've got quite a lot done in this episode and that is going to be terrible for me to have to react again. Right, so we want decks. We can actually use the Uchi now, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and change over. So, in melee, you're all about to see me have a significant damage boost. So we're going to move the... Move the, uh, glint blade over. Glint blade? Yeah, glint blade. I'm going to make it magic. There we go. Uh, and this is going to be basically mini moon veil. Uh, the actual moon veil, when we get it, is going to be way more powerful, which is ridiculous when you think of when you when you get to see this fight. Uh but yes, now we can actually fight. This is going to be like crazy. I, I want something to fight give me something to kill. <laughs> give me something to kill. Hello that Lou. Hello sir. This is where it's like something mega hard and it won't die. Yes. Right, so now we are talking, right? Could That's all I'm gonna say. Right. We are now like instead of having to hit things like five or six times, we can kill them in two hits. Much, much nicer. Uh, in addition, because we made this plus ten, this will also um, uh, have stronger hits with the the glint blade as well. Go then let's let's be naughty, shall we? Come here, come here. Oh, missed. Stop with your crazy attacks. This guy's gonna be dead. Pretty much. Anyway. Oop. It's nice to be able to fight. And as well as that, like, uh, in longer fights when you're building up the bleed proc, uh, this will, like, you know, do extra damage on top of that. Because. That's, that's just what it needs. <laughs> it's probably every ten, 10 or so hits, it's going to take like a percentage of the health off as well. We are all uchi up. So in for the tower. Should probably... No, no, I don't need enchantments. So I remember, actually. I remember this bit. So what we're going to want to do is... Uh, come on in and loot this bit, and then uh, we jump up the sides. Uh, I think you need to on foot because Torrent isn't very nimble for this first bit. But then once you get up to the top, we'll summon him and then jump over to there. Or at least this works on stream. So I think there's loot below us as well, which we actually need to go and get. There we are. That gives us the memory slot. So now we can, we can equip more spells now, which is useful. Uh, I didn't find anything else here. I don't know why I feel like there was loot down the side though. that done. Uh, and actually, before we set off, what time are we on? Nine minutes! Okay, yeah, we've got plenty of time. We're going to take on the Erd Tree. Um, not nearly as profitable as the last one that we did. Uh, that's going to be over here. Again, so like when you're looking at all this stuff, we're not going to get down here for a good old while. I don't really want you attacking from behind. Let's make sure you don't. Do 
same goes for all these. Let's get this, thank you. I don't know how many of those we've got stored now. Any more over here? Yeah, there is. We did pop some there. It made me sad to pop some of those for an upgrade. <laughs> right. Let's go and deal with you. Oh look, we can actually do damage now. It's crazy, isn't it? Shocking, isn't it? Right, so what we want to do, we want to summon our boyo. We want to have that on, that on, that equipped, and that. Let's go. Knock it out, knock it out, knock it out, knock it out. Quick move, just didn't get me that big swing. But any stagger would be nice. <laughs> Probably should take enough flask there more than anything. It's gonna get me bad now. I was greedy. It's entirely my own fault. I knew it was gonna do it. Quick, I need to dodge this. Oh no, it's gone for the- Ha ha, you've sent them after Lootle, you fool! Ooh. Sorted! Another world boss is felled at the hands of Andraste. God of War. Crystal Serene Tear, which I believe raises FP. Capacity, it's a strange thing to do. On a Physic, but hey hey, we got it. Uh, don't think there's much else. There should be a... Should be a... Roly ball, where are you? Roly poly? Where have you gone, Roly poly? We should practically be on top of it. There's a ledge down there. Oh, hello. I didn't see this before on the stream. Oh, that's where it came from. Fool. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, so it's that. Which leaves us with... Fast rolling back to... Avengers Shack. And then we're gonna head on south for... I think we're gonna have to leave all the, ro all the uh, load screens in. If... Uh, if this one comes out fine... I think from now on I'm gonna, gonna keep the... Keep the screens in. And even if it doesn't, that's probably going to be the case. I think when I'm pausing the recording, it's messing something up. Or should I say, it has done once. It seems to have. Well, it wasn't during the pause, then. It, it, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, what's, I don't know what the cause is. Um, how crazy. This is something I did not see. And here is the weapon of, weapon of war. Let's get down. Get down. Get off the horse. Okay, we want to get, get quick, quick dice. Quick, quick, please. No... Stop it. There you go, Ash of War. Sword dance. Sounds cool. <gasps> Bats. No one likes you. Nobody likes you. gonna make this bit up as we go along because I did not catch this on the streams. It's not gonna be incredibly important, there's no NPCs in here, but there will be some uh some upgrade materials for summons, so let's grab that. It shouldn't take long. Especially with this captain now. Plus we need the runes. How do we need for another level? We need four more levels. So, oh my god, we're looking like 70k. 70k runes as that continues to rise. Oh my god. Didn't knock it down. Interesting. 
I guess the Moonveil has a heavier swing because Moonveil does, does not look down. Excuse me, sir. Ouch, I shouldn't have attacked there, really. Oh, my. Any more, any more. Right now. Looks like one of those might be false. It's just literally giving us the switch. I don't know why this one looks false. <laughs> you cannot hide it from me. Right. Interesting. That does not stun me. Oh well, maybe I'll see enough ghost glove one. That's worth finding. Rune arc, that's worth finding. Resin. I think it's very important for uh, crafting. Not necessarily rare though. Ooh, lots of glove wall. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now that we've got loads of it, I might actually start testing out different summons. <laughs> Lootal is just too addictive. Yeah, get down, sir, get down. Hey, drop me the head, it dropped me the head. Uh, I found this on the stream and I was like, Oh yeah, we get it, but it's like a plus two. I don't know how much I care about plus two. Makes us real heavy though. Um, it does add a good amount of armor and poise. But I don't like how it looks at all. So I'm probably never going to wear it. There are going to be other candidates anyway. No trap, please. Oh, hello. Do you mind? So I walk around with his shield up. see me explore now. This might make this episode a little longer if I don't work things out quicker. Clean enough, that's going to be another one. I thought people were like, oh, false walls are rare in this game. I've found loads now. I mean, not in this playthrough just yet, but you'll see. I wonder if they've improved the drop rate of the... Uh, the hat. I've had two drop now in two days and like I haven't had any drop in the weeks that we've been doing these before that mimic. No, it's not. Incarnate ashes. I still need the boss. Where's the boss room? Excuse me, boss room. No. It looked different. All so different. There's usually like a sign of some sort when it's going to be a false wall. Not that. Okay, give me two minutes. I'm going to see if I can find it. Okay, I'm sorry, provide this works. Uh, there was the first invisible door we found. The next one is basically in a similar place. You want to come down the stairs and then you hit this wall. This guy was behind it, so just be careful of him. Got another friend as well. Grave Vault 3, Human Bone Shark, Watchdog's Staff. Have to pardon me, I don't know what it does exactly. I guess that's the end of the loot in here. Still have no boss fight yet. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. Nope. 
Okay. I'll, uh, I'll continue hitting walls. Give me a second. Okay then, so, back at the first invisible wall we found. Where we got the root resin is the next one. So we come down. This is where the root resin was, and then behind is our next little foray into this dungeon. The boss room. Let's get some. Don't even know what it's going to be. But it's going to be fun. Spirit Caller Snail. Hello, sir. Uh, what? No, he's not the boss. Where's the boss? Oh, 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 oh. something, something fun is happening here. There you are. Okay. So we've probably got Spirit vs. Spirit while we get the slug, I see. We'll look for the light. My spirit's beating yours! The bleed made that good. Oh yeah! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Can I- I want that summon! Give me that summon! Anyway. Dungeon finish, that's very nice. Which is good. Uh, which means... Map-wise... Map-wise, I think we're mostly done for the open-worldy stuff in Leonia. In Leonia, cast. Yeah, that's all this side done. Which means all we have left is Lucario Village, Lucario Academy, and. Uh, this northern area in here. I definitely want to have Moondrail before we start facing any significant bosses. So, I'm going to guess at the next two episodes, probably, maybe, are going to be outside of Leonia. We're going to be doing Kaled. Because we might as well go and get the map fragment. We might as well go and get the tower, which is like around here-ish, and we might as well grab... I think that's everything. We could go do the Earth Tree. Probably isn't that bad. We could do the Earth Tree while we're over there. We could probably do... Well, there's going to be a... Tunnel. We need this tunnel. This is where um, Potboy currently is, and we need to help him out with the magma, magma worm thing. As well as go around that actual tunnel because that's going to have the Somberstone 4 in it. And then right here we're going to get Somberstone 5 which can allow us to make Moonveil plus 5 straight away. Um, and that doesn't sound high until you realise um, that the levels are basically like tripled on a special weapon. Because they're going to like plus 5 I think on the normal game. Um, so yeah. That's gonna be it. Oh, we should do uh, we should do Celia Town as well while we're over there. That's why it's gonna take definitely two episodes. So we've got quite a lot to do in Kalid, which is where we will go next. We should probably do Celia Town first because it's quite easy and it'll give us some magic resistance for the dungeons that we're gonna be going around, which is the, most of the reason why we want to do it. It'll also give us the second key, so I guess we can also do the the two good uh, belfries whilst we're at it. Significant power up over the next two to three episodes then. Either way guys, uh, I'll stop boring you and we will move on with the next episode shortly.